If you're editing an interview or just a conversation with two camera streams or four camera streams, there is a way to quickly apply like motion and scale effects to those clips so that you can see multiple speakers at the same time. We call them picture-in-picture -picture presets. I made a pack with these presets, so that's what I'm gonna show you today. Hi, I'm Piotr Toczynski. I'm a creator of Essential Motion, a preset pack that has been downloaded by over 100,000 editors worldwide. And just recently, I released all Ultimate presets, a pack of over 200 presets for all types of things you can do in Premiere. 16 types of presets to be precise. And one of those, yes, you guessed it, picture-in-picture -picture presets. So let's have a look what they do and how you can use them. So on the timeline here, I have an interview with Jim Cummings, one of my favorite filmmakers. I had the pleasure of talking to him just recently. I will post it on the channel soon. Actually, I'm just about to start editing it and I'm gonna use picture-in-picture -picture presets to do it. So my goal is to have like three camera views, okay? And we'll edit it as like a multi-cam sequence, okay? So in the first one, it's just Jim, it's this shot. In the second one, it's the second camera feed, so it's me asking questions, right? And in the third one, we're together, side by side. And that's what we're gonna use essential picture-in-picture -picture presets for. So the first ones are the ones that we're gonna use for this scenario. This one is for the left clip, and it's gonna be my clip, and the gym is going to be on the right side, so we're gonna apply this. But to have like three camera feeds, I will first select these camera feeds and duplicate them, okay? With all the dragging, basically. I will disable visibility for those two tracks at the moment. And yeah, now I just drag and drop them, okay? So that's my clip, the blue one is mine, so I will be on the left, uh, left side. And Jim is going to be on the right side, so uh, he is the yellow clip, and that's how it looks, okay? So drag and drop, and here we go, it's ready, the spacing is just right, it's ready to go basically, right? We could apply some black background to it if we want to, but depends on your vision, right? Okay, and I will show you the rest of the presets in a moment, but first I want to show you how to turn this into multicam, okay? So that we can switch between those three views, like me, Jim, and we're together side by side. So right now we have like four video tracks, we want to have three. So first I will select those two that are side by side, and I will nest them, okay? So basically right click, nest, and I will uh, call it like two shot, okay? Two shot, okay, here it goes. I will put it in the nest sequence over here. And now I will select these three, okay? Now that this one is nested and once again, nest. And we'll call this one multicam, okay? And now that this one is nested, I will right click it, go to multi camera and click enable. And that's it, right? Now we can enable those video tracks again. And look, if I go to this button, toggle multi-camera view, then I have these three camera views available. And that's it. Number two, once again, left, right, is for an example where the source footage is in Ultra HD resolution, okay? So these two are for full HD, 1080p by 1920. This one is for Ultra HD, and it's gonna be the case for the rest of the presets as well. But number three is for vertical sequences. So I have this excerpt over here in this sequence that I'm gonna use as a reel on Instagram, right? And I'm gonna use these presets for this. So at the bottom, I will be at the bottom, okay? So to the blue clip, and uh, Jim will be at the top. So I drag this one here, and that's it. Once again, the spacing is correct it's divided into half and stuff like that. If I want to, I could move this one a little bit to the right and, you know, make myself centered a little bit more. I could move Jim a little bit to the right as well, but we're ready. What's the next use case, okay? This one, once again, is the same, but for Ultra HD source footage. But this one is also interesting, okay? This one is for doing like a split screen. So instead of like side by side, it's still gonna be side by side, but like with a split screen. Let me just show you instead of trying to describe it. So once again, I'll apply the left preset to myself and Jim will be on the right side and that's it, right? So once again, divided into half, it's pretty much good to go. I could, if I want to, I could move myself a little bit because I'm a little bit far to the left. I was not centered in the frame, so that's why it makes sense. And I just do it in the motion parameter, right? And the crop stays the same as it was, and it works just fine. What about these presets? So number six is for full HD source footage, and Ultra HD is number seven. But basically, these are for four speakers, okay? So let's say that Ricky and Erwan, my two editor friends that I run the Cut to Reveal podcast with, we're also there, okay? So there were four speakers. This one goes to Erwan, 
this one goes to Ricardo, this one goes to Jim, and this one goes to myself. Done! So that's what picture-in-picture -picture presets are for, and they are part of ultimate presets that you can get yourself. Again, it also has like 15 different types of presets to make your workflow in the Premiere more efficient and enjoyable. So get your copy of the pack today, I really think it's a small investment with a huge return. And by the way, if there are different variations of picture-in-picture -picture presets you'd like to see there, once you purchase the pack, you also get access to a form where you can request new presets, and as long as they make sense, I will basically add them to the pack, and as I've mentioned, in the Ultimate Presets launch video, I will be making more videos like this, explaining and showcasing what you can do with these different types of presets. So till the next time, take care.